Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this ministry. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, take a second to like, to share, and to subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Yes, to this person, you might be asking yourself, ah, there is nothing to fight about because to you, you felt that you don't have anything that people should fight about. No. God is saying to you that you have something that they are fighting for. You have something that they are fighting you for. And there is a conflict, a serious fight, a serious fight, a serious war, a serious problem, a serious argument concerning your identity. They are fighting about your identity. You know, the Bible says that a good name is better than riches. A good name is better than riches. <laughs> that good name that you have. It is something that they are fighting. Do you know there are people who have wrong riches that, that no one is fighting them because they are already carrying a wrong weight, a wrong riches, a wrong name. They are all already at the other side. You know the other side when we talk the other side. When we talk about the other side, they are already at the other side, you know, the other side where you are not permitted to cross over. They are already at the other side. So you look at them, it seems as if no one is fighting them. No one is arguing. People are even defending their name. People are even defending their identity. Ah, leave them alone. Leave them alone. It's freedom of speech. No. When it comes to the word of God, there is nothing like uh, freedom of speech. You have to say what is wrong. You have to do what is wrong. No. There is nothing like that. The Bible says, be careful. It said, be careful. It said, be slow to speak. And swift to hear. So when it comes to the word of God, we understand that we don't talk anyhow. Even if there is freedom of speech, there are some things we don't involve in. There are some things we don't accept. There are some things we don't agree to. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. There is a conflict about your identity. The reason why they are fighting your identity because they see the good name that you carry. You might not have the silver and the gold. You might not have the most expensive clothes. But your identity is beautiful and it is glowing. It is glowing. Hallelujah. And that is something that they cannot strip you of. That is something that you, they cannot deny you of. Because you carry the identity of Christ. Hallelujah. You carry the image of God. You carry the image of Christ. And when they look at you, they look for how to strip you of those things. They cannot find a way. Your identity is different. You are the person standing for what is right. Even when the world is against you. You are the person that is using what God has blessed you with. To be of help to others. That is what they are fighting you about. Child of God, there is a conflict a serious conflict is like when you, even in the families, people don't agree to your identity. They want you to start carrying the, the, the color of other people. You are not a chameleon. You are not a chameleon that switch color. That is neither there nor here. You have a great identity and anyone with a great identity has a great destiny. No matter how they are fighting you. I am telling you that anyone that has identity, that has a good identity, has a great destiny. That is why there is so much conflict about your identity. The devil is mad because they will fight over that identity for you not to actualize your destiny. But hear me, because you put on the whole image of the Lord. Because you put God on, because you are the representative of God, I'm hearing you, I'm talking to you, I'm speaking to you, that your identity cannot be stripped of 
and your destiny you will achieve. Hallelujah. Let them fight. Let them turn against each other. But your identity cannot be tempered with. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.